Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Nikki here. Thank you so much for clicking that button to watch this video. Today's video is long overdue because y'all kept bullying me to come back. So I'm back and I'm better. We're just gonna talk. Where I've been? Let's chit chat while we get ready. You see a lot of new things. And the first thing is my glasses. Yes, I have eyes now. I can see. Um, it feels like I can see clearly now the rain is gone. That's what it's getting. Like, I've been so blind. I've not worn glasses in years. Like, I've always worn glasses my whole life, but I get here and they say I don't need them. So, I've not been wearing glasses, but now that I have them back, I feel like a new person, a new woman. Sorry, I'm dropping everything. I do have a few talking notes here. So, yeah, let's, let's, let's talk. Where I've been, let's start with that. So it's been a while since I've uploaded. It's been about probably four or five months now. Um, I'm not gonna talk much about the makeup. I'll list everything in the order in which I use it down below. Everything will be linked. Okay, so girl, let me just tell y'all. First, I'll, I'll start at this. I've just not been feeling the YouTube thing. Uh, it takes a toll on me mentally and emotionally because just tech has not been my friend lately. I just haven't had a good rep with tech lately. Like if I'm being dead honest, um, y'all know when we went on our anniversary trip, my camera got stolen, technically got stolen because the Uber driver just refused to return it. Um, so I've been without, I was without camera equipment for a long time. But then while we were in Paris, I bought my dream camera, my dream lens. Cool, right? I hope the lights are not too bright. Is it too bright? I feel like it's washing out my melanin. I don't like that. Like, can we get some yellow tape? It's just pure white light, and I don't like that. So after that, my computer went down, it crashed, and I was without a computer for a really long time. And I wanna say this happened September, October-ish. I held off on getting the newest MacBook Pro because the sales associate was like, just don't buy it. They're about to release a new one soon and wait for that one. Yada, yada, yada. Y'all don't want to hear about that. Y'all want the real tea, right? In real life, I was having a bunch of tech issues and mentally, I just wasn't there. I was just like over it. I'm like, I just wasn't feeling that. I was over it. 2022, October 4th, I went ahead and I got my mommy makeover. Now, if you've been keeping up with me on other platforms such as TikTok, then you'll know I went to my console. I like phone blogged everything. I actually vlogged it on my camera as well. But all the footage was like corrupted because I clicked a certain button on my camera and everything was in slow-mo and without sound. That can't be undone, but I'm still gonna give you all those clips. So yes, you will still get those vlogs because I just like to keep y'all in the know. I don't wanna feel like I'm doing anything in secrecy. I like being transparent with you guys. Though I'm not obligated to tell y'all anything, but I just like letting y'all know. Um, since October 4th, it's been given very much. You ain't fuck me, you fuck the old body. Yeah, yeah, that's what it's been given. So I've been loving it, I've been healing. Just focusing on my recovery. So yeah, that happened October 4th. Augmentation, and I also got my tummy tuck. Y'all know I've been talking about getting a tummy tuck for the longest. And I was always scared, especially with the scar, the healing, the downtime. Um, and it wasn't that bad. I will say I do have a very high pain tolerance. But it wasn't that bad. I think the hardest part was the recovery because it takes a toll on you mentally and emotionally. Coughing, laughing, sneezing, all of that hurt. Like, cause I had a muscle repair as well. I had really bad, a really, really bad case of diastasis. So he repaired all of that, resold all my muscles. During the healing, oh my gosh. Y'all, Chris and the kids, I would say Chris was the worst because I felt like everything he did was funny and not being able literally to laugh, it hurt so bad. So yeah, that took a toll. That took a toll on me mentally. It was tough. It was it was tough. And then Chris had to do everything by himself. Like pick the kids up from school, pack their lunch, take them to school, lay out their clothes. Like he had to do everything. He had to take the role of mommy, take the kids to all their appointments. Um, extracurricular activities, birthday parties for the kids. I'm gonna put, clip my, my bangs up so it won't be in the way too much. Um, I'm really hoping that this is not too bright. <sighs> Just don't jinx it, Nick. Don't jinx it. Just let it go. I'm gonna let it go. It's out of my control. I mean, technically, I can't control my light. 
I don't know, child. Let's just get this done. Because if I keep holding off, I'm not going to do it. And y'all going to keep bullying me and being mad at me. <laughs> Tell me all. But I've been enjoying, really, really enjoying short form content. So I've been posting a lot on uh, Instagram and TikTok. But Instagram, when I woke up on January 1st, they decided to take my page. I literally woke up at three something in the morning to an email saying that my content has been removed for violating community guidelines. And y'all, like I was talking on the phone with my manager and everything. We were both trying to get it back. It took them 18 or 19 days to return my account. And I was like, maybe these are like God's signs, like his way of telling me like, I need to focus my attention elsewhere. So I put all that attention into TikTok and I've been growing and flourishing over there. I really like it. It can be ghetto at times. Like the TikTok people are really harsh and mean. Um, I don't get a ton of hate or negative comments, but uh, TikTok, yeah, that's a that's another ball game. It could be another ball game. TikTok, where is that? And I'm trying to just come back to YouTube. That's really what I. That's my ultimate goal, just to be back on here, be consistent because I miss y'all. Like I dead ass, I miss y'all. I really do. I want to thank you guys so, so much for reaching out, constantly checking on me. When I went MIA, and especially when y'all noticed my Instagram was gone too, so many of y'all reached out. Y'all emailed my manager, y'all were emailing me, y'all were sending me messages on TikTok or in the comments on TikTok, like, where are you? Is everything okay? Is the family okay? I love that. I, lo I love y'all. I love how um, caring y'all are um, and that a lot of you just took time out to just check on me. So I had my surgery in October. I decided to go ahead and listen to all my medical practitioners. Um, it was first my dermatologist who recommended it that I get on birth control to help with my PCOS and my hormonal imbalance. And I was like, yeah, not doing it. I don't want to be on a birth control. I didn't want to do it. So then my primary doctor also recommended, both of them were males, by the way, they, they both recommended the exact same brand. And then when I went out to California to have my yearly exam, my OB, after we got my ultrasound results back um, from when I had to have an ultrasound because of my cyst on my ovaries, she too says that she thought that birth control would be the best option for me and she was recommended a certain birth control. Now when I researched this birth control, it was like 50-50, it was given 50-50. Some people were saying it worked, some people said it made them crazy, that they experienced horrible side effects. And I will say that I feel like I have, I have been experiencing a lot of the side effects, especially like uh, mood swings and um, sadness. I wouldn't say depression, but just like sadness. Um, and then I get really, 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 really bad. I always have bad headaches, but they're like super frequent now. The birth control, it's working in all the other areas. I don't know if y'all see my skin, but skin is flourishing. <laughs> Period is not happening twice a month anymore. And I started the birth control on November 1st. I've been on it since. And um, it's a pill. I take it every day. The brand is Yaz. Um, and I know a lot of y'all don't like that. I, I get it. I didn't want to do it. But it's been working. I hate that I have the horrible side effects with it. But the pill is doing what it needs to do. So... It is what it is really. It's not much more that I can worry myself about. I finally found something that helped. Yeah, it has regulated my period. It's also shortened my period too because now it only lasts like four days. Because I was already down and recovering, I was like, it's November. Let's just try, let's just try this birth control. I had to stop all medication, all vitamins, two weeks prior to my surgery. Again, my surgery was in October, but I stopped a month in advance because I just, I just like playing by the rules and I want to be as safe as possible. So I haven't been on any vitamins, any anything. It's helped in the areas where I needed to help. Will I stay on this brand? I don't know because again, the side effects are just like not my cup of tea. I feel like with the sadness too. Now with the sadness, what I've been doing is just literally journaling. Um, I talked to my doctor. He was like, well, we could possibly put you on an antidepressant and I'm like, Look, I don't even like taking pills. I'm not taking no goddamn antidepressant. Antidepressant? Uh-uh. I'm gonna try every holistic way possible before I 
make my body have to survive off a pill. That's just me personally. I don't even like taking pills for headaches. Like um, during my recovery, even with surgery, I didn't take those pain meds. I don't like my body to not feel like I'm in control basically. Got back in the gym December 7th. I waited a full eight weeks before I went back. My doctor like cleared me to actually go back in six weeks, but I was like, let's just wait a little bit longer. I was low key scared. <laughs> Gear AF, okay? So I waited the full eight weeks. I still don't really have much sensation or feeling in my abdomen area. Yeah, I just don't really have sensation or feeling. But I've been like, I'm back to like lifting heavy. And y'all know I weight lift. So that was another reason I wanted to wait the full eight weeks. I've really been loving this foundation by Makeup by Mario. I'm in the shade 24N, 25W. 25w where did i get 24 in from how i've been balancing everything is like i mentioned i've been really like journaling every single day or if not every single day every other day but just like journaling i also did a dry january but my dry january because i don't drink anyway y'all know that but my dry january was just no shopping i didn't shop at all in january and it felt good, it actually wasn't hard, especially with me being locked out of my Instagram. Cause Instagram causes me to shop a whole lot. Cause I see all my essays, posts and things and I'm like, oh, let me get that, let me get that. But yeah, it wasn't hard to not shop. I did it. no shopping in January, I read a ton. And how I like balance everything was, usually I read a bunch of self-help books and I love my self-help books, but sometimes I just need to escape reality. Like I just need an escape. So I've been reading a lot of urban romance and urban novels, and it's been just a great escape from reality. And it's kind of really how I reward myself. I'll be like, okay, you can't start a new book until you film, you post, and you do this on both Instagram and TikTok. Cause I can read a book in a day. Like it's been that rewarding for me that I've been going through these books so damn quick. And I use the Amazon Kindle app that's been heaven it's just been like it's been nice to just have a nice little escape and whatnot but i was just like let me just focus on tiktok let's just do that because at this time i was i was still without my instagram so i was like let me just focus on tiktok let me just see what it's about it's been a learning curve but i've been thoroughly enjoying it like it doesn't seem like so much pressure it's not overly edited it's not too put together it's just it's just you, like you being you, you talking to the people how you would on FaceTime. Like, I love that. I'm hoping to kind of bring that like vibe. I know YouTube is so different though, cause it's like a lot more editing. You gotta do music, you gotta have outro and intro, things gotta make sense. <sighs> I'm a perfectionist and I feel like it, that it's caused me to put so much pressure on myself that it's caused me to fall out of love with YouTube. If that makes sense. Does that make sense? I feel like it's been hard for me to stay consistent because I don't know, I have all this, this pressure, this unwanted pressure that I've literally given myself in a way because I don't feel like y'all pressure me. I mean, y'all pressure me like where the content at, but other than that, like, I don't feel like y'all pressure me. Um, it is what it is, I'm back. Mama's jobs are never done. It's like my entire schedule revolves around my kids. So lately I've been using Fridays while they're at school as content days or days to film and get things done. Ira goes to OT and he has been for us months now. I've seen a drastic difference in his speech and his behavior. He doesn't go for speech, but he's just able to tell you how his body is feeling, tell you his needs and wants, things like that. Um, he was having sensory processing disorder, SPD. So like anything that affects your senses. So whether it be touch, taste, smell, um, he just couldn't process a lot of things. He's still extremely, extremely, extremely sensitive when it comes to food. He is very, very picky. Now Ira is in a new program called the SOS Feeding Program. And they just focus on playing with different foods, plant experience and different textures. All of them are like perfectionists because if I were, if you give him a graham cracker and it's cracked, he's not gonna eat it. He, he's gonna be like, nope, absolutely not. 
that one's broken, I'm not doing it. I've been learning a lot with him being in this program. One of the things is that a lot of reason the kids prefer snacks and foods with all those preservatives and stuff is because the consistency, everything is always, always the same. It's always gonna taste the same. We've also learned that force feeding is just not the way. And when I say force feeding, I mean like, no, you're gonna sit here and eat that. You know how we were raised growing up. We've yeah, just been unlearning a lot of that stuff. And then last week, Ira and Chris went on a dad and son trip. So that was really nice, really good uh, abundant time for both of them. And then me and Isla just hung out at the house, but y'all know me and Isla got a trip coming. I'm not gonna tell y'all where. But other than that, yeah, life is good. Life is what it is. Um, kids have been great. His, Chris has been great. Yeah, I wanna know what y'all wanna see, what y'all wanna hear from us this year. I was thinking about doing like a, a huge haul of things that I've recently purchased. Not recently purchased because again, I didn't shop in January but I bought this stuff back in December or things that I got for Christmas. I was gonna just show y'all what I've been thinking, things that I've been wearing, things that I've been loving as of late. I also share a lot of that stuff on my TikTok as well. So make sure you guys are following me on all my other social media platforms, both TikTok and Instagram. Both are real underscore Oluwanike. And often y'all ask how to pronounce that name. The name is Oluwanike and it means God cherishes. I'm living proof that he does because I feel like I'm highly, highly favored um, and I'm blessed. And I'm showing that every day, honestly, I am. Another thing that I've been doing is I've been consistently going on live on TikTok every Friday, usually morning time. Let me put some pink on top of my blush. Too much blush? Never enough blush. Never. So yeah, here's our finished look. Let me know what you guys would like to see. Feels so good to be back. I got so much to show and tell you guys, but I'll put those in the vlog so it'll be upcoming. Um, and also we're about to go on a trip with Chris for Valentine's Day. So be sure to join us for that. And I love y'all. And thank you so much for bullying me to come back. Like. Deadass, I, I appreciated it. I needed that push to give me that momentum. Y'all see what I mean when it comes to filming for YouTube? I don't know if I'm putting it out. It's it, This is what it is. I'm putting it out there in the universe and the universe is handing that shit to me every single time. So my camera overheated, which is why I'm now filming on my phone, but this is the closing of this video. Let me know what you guys would like to see. Um, tell me what you guys are doing this year. Like what's new, what's tea? I don't even know, like what's been going on? Like spill, spill, I need it all. And then look forward to those videos that I have to get out to you guys. It's surgery vlogs um, and then CNN talks. And then also Chris and I are going on a vacation for Valentine's Day, so I will be bringing you all along. Yeah, I gotta go film some content for TikTok. So be sure to follow me on TikTok and on Instagram, but TikTok gonna see it first. So follow me there. Real underscore Owanike for both platforms. I love y'all, I miss y'all so, so much. And just thank you so much for rocking with me from literally the pits of my soul. I love y'all so much. I appreciate you more than you know, and I'll see you in the next one.